Our Top of the Pops opener this week was recently a number one in Britain by the duo that's one of the most popular acts in the world. my DVD collection because it's fantastic footage of T-Rex and Mark Boland uh, playing, um, uh, filmed by Ringo Starr. And I'm delighted to say that Roland Boland and also Tony Visconti are here to tell me about it. Please welcome Roland and Tony. Welcome to the show. Very nice to see you, buddy. Thank you, sir. Now, um, uh, uh, Roland, you're, of course, Mark's son. And Tony, you, were, um, uh, you are one of the great producers of today. I'm just putting you into context Thank you. for the members of the public. When did you first meet Mark? I met him in 67, 1967, Tottenham Court Road. My boss told me to go out and find a band to produce. So I found Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah. And then they later became T-Rex. Yeah. I mean, how did we, yeah, they're, they're incredibly, um, I mean, they had a, like, it was almost like Beatlemania happened around them, didn't it? Yes. It was, yeah. uh, England had not seen anything like that yeah. since the Beatles, and it was even in some ways more terrifying. The yeah. girls were, like, ripping <laughs> handfuls of hair out of his head and things yeah. like that, yeah. Yeah. When were you first aware of that sort of mania? I think um, in 1997, my dad's 20th anniversary, I grew up with the music. But then returning to London, because I was born here but raised in Los Angeles, I saw the magnitude when seeing this film for the first time and then seeing how many fans there were. Yeah, yeah. And also, of course, it was directed by um, Ringo Starr. Um, how, was, uh, how did Ringo come into How was he directing? Well, I think Ringo was looking for something to do uh, after the Beatles had split up, and he, he was the acting Beatle. Direct a film. You know, direct a film, you know. Did he have a, a loud hailer, job per boot, special chair? Uh, no, not really, no. no. He, had he, he had the chair, he, he had, had the yeah. chair, yeah. Chair and the camera, maybe, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, now, we've got a clip, I think, which was um, shot at Apple Studios. I think yes. that's where it is. Three Savile Row. Yeah. Number Three Savile Row. Yes. Where they famously played on the roof at the... That's at the, correct. Yeah. Um, yes. And uh, I think there's also Elton John. Is going to Elton be. John is in it. Let's have a little bit of... Look at this clip now on my big television. It is good for your mind You can twist and shout they all hang out, but you won't fool the children of the revolution. No, you won't fool the children of the revolution. No, no, no. Ringo was dressed as a clown. That was Ringo, yeah. Yes. He was one of the clowns, yeah. Yeah, that was quite frightening for a moment. I was imagining him like, <laughs> in a big sort of overcoat with sort of bellowing at people, but dressed as a clown. I suppose that would disarm all the people in the film. Uh, yeah, well, that's the way they all dressed up at Apple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> clown suits. <laughs> now, I mean, you're a musician yourself. Have, yeah. you, have you learnt from things look, looking at this? I think uh, subconsciously, but then every now and then you do, you do emulate the things you see. Like, of course, the great you know, Led Zeppelin and yeah. other bands that we see and watching all these shows, eventually you start to find your own style within. But then we all come from somewhere in yeah, a sense, yeah. you know. And this is the stuff that you've heard yeah. most of all, I guess. Yeah. Um, now, Tony, you are um, one of the great record producers of all time, really. You know, everybody from Thank David you. Bowie to two uh, Manic Street Preachers. I mean, every, you know, the lot, you the you. lot, the whole gamut. I won't even start with this because it's so long. But, you know, a lot of people watching this show, they might want to know, like, if you, what advice you would have give to somebody who was maybe starting out and playing. What would what? And what would you be looking for if you were going to produce someone? Okay, well, first thing, I think young musicians should really study music, whether it be with a music teacher or just listen to a lot of records, practice, learn, listen, play. And what I look for is, the, I'd say, the most important thing is to be different. Mark Boland was original, David Bowie was original, so I would say be different, and then people will start to notice you. There we are. There's some f absolutely free advice. That is free, isn't it? No. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, 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 Marvellous advice. Thank you very much indeed. Tony Visconti and Roland Bowler. Thank you. One of Pop's hottest properties right now, T-Rex.